Thank you very Thank much. You. You know, Baltimore's uh, Tremont Grand, the former Masonic headquarters at, here in Maryland, which was built in 1866, uh, survived a couple of its own fires uh, that were done, uh, that were caused internally, but it also played a part in the Great Fire of Baltimore, and there's actual uh, photography of firefighters in the building fighting the fire over towards Lexington Street. It never really uh, got as far as our building, but they actually fought the fire from the building and in doing so caused some water damage to the lower floors that consequently had to be re, uh, refabricated. <laughs>
Dennis has been doing uh, hospitality business for a long time, so he's the right man for that job. Uh, representing Mayor Martin O'Malley is uh, First Deputy Mayor Michael Enright. We also have with us uh, City Council President Sheila Dixon uh, and Jacqueline Evans, if, I, if they've made it so far. I know they were hoping to be here. Uh, the Vice President of Baltimore City Council, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, 5th District. Baltimore City Councilman Kiefer J. Mitchell, Jr. of the 11th District, who represents us here, has been a great friend to the Tremonts. We also are expecting Baltimore City Councilman Jack Young of the 12th District. And also, uh, Councilwoman Helen Fulton of the 8th District. Looking for Councilman James Kraft, too. James uh, Kraft is here, love to have him up front. And expecting uh, Montgomery County Executive Doug Duncan to be here. We also have former uh, City State's Attorney Stuart Sims, Attorney Doug Gansler from uh, Montgomery County State's Attorney's Office. My friend and uh, neighbor, State Senator Phil Gennano of Anaheim County. Uh, Phil, that would be Thank you very much. President of the National Trust for Square Preservation Investment Corporation, Mr. John Lee Tetro. The Director of Baltimore City Department of Planning, Louis Rawley. Baltimore City Department of Planning Division Chief of the Commission of Historical and Architectural Planning, Kathleen Kotarva. The Executive Director of the Preservation Maryland, Tyler Gerhardt. President of the Baltimore Development Corporation, Jay Brody. Our neighbor, good neighbor, very good neighbor, and president of the Downtown Partnership, Kirby Fowler. Uh, and the current standing Grandmaster for the Maryland Masonic uh, Order is Mr. Ron Belanger. To my right, I want to thank you, Ron, for your uh, members of Kirby Turning House today. It's really, it's really an honor. If I don't look at anybody, I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm going to move on to the program, and it's now my pleasure to introduce uh, Dennis Castleman, the Assistant uh, Department Business and Economic Development for Tourism Tourism, and he's here for uh, our Governor of Afghanistan. Good afternoon, and uh, thanks for having us over here today. On behalf of Governor Ehrlich, I bring you greetings and congratulations on this grand opening of the Tremont Grand. I'm thrilled to be here to celebrate the opening of this world-class facility, and it truly is world-class when you get inside and you'll see that. It's an incredible, incredible work, and it took a lot of great people in order to put this together, and I, uh, I believe that once you get inside, you'll see that to be true. The tourism and hospitality industries are one of the great economic drivers in the state of Maryland. In the state of Maryland, uh, the tourism and hospitality industry represents a $10 billion industry, over 125,000 employees, and talking with Rick Stop, we've hired another 125 employees to begin the Tremont Grand's endeavor here today. So the economic impact of tourism and hospitality throughout this state is incredible, and it's uh, it's a great. It continues to grow and continues to be one of the one of the state's largest industries. So we're very pleased with that. Uh, I'm sure uh, you all have seen. The, the great works of this just from the outside over the past couple of years. It has, as, as uh, Rick said, taken several years to do this, and it certainly was a, a labor of love. And I, I think that you can all see that, house, that, the tur that not only tourism, but the state of Maryland is, is hot. Tourism uh, helps account for the 3.4% unemployment rate that we had in March of 06, and business level is at its highest rates in 10 years here in the state of Maryland. So for all of you here who had any part to do with the opening of this and all the staff of this, of this great complex, we say congratulations and thank you for your roles and look forward to many, many years of this great facility being a major part of the hospitality industry in the state of Maryland. Thank you very much for being here. Ready to go uh, try their food? Oh, I'm, I'm up for food all the time. Oh Absolutely. man, we can't wait. We had a great show with the uh, executive chef Dennis Shaken and uh, the banquet chef uh, Will Koch from the Tremont Hotel, the Tremont Grand, mm -hmm. and we are we're so anxious to meet these guys again and see what the food is really like. Great show, and we thank you all for being here. Yep. Take care. Uh, top of the morning. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go see it.